Hi, this is Todd and today is Friday, August 21st and we are in a grove of Russian olives, uh, some wet meadows here in northern Utah looking for uh, caterpillars of the monarch. This is a classical monarch habitat. Uh, we're going to be looking on milkweeds as we move forward here. This is my friend Bryce. Say hi Bryce. Hi. And we're going to be focusing on the milkweeds. We're actually walking up on milkweeds right now that are stationed adjacent to the Russian olives where the female monarchs prefer to roost because those seem to be the particular milkweeds and here's some milkweed plants right here that get targeted so we'll start looking and okay Bryce we got Bryce here looking on a milkweed and this milkweed is basically buried under a forest of the Russian olive trees and, and we're looking for two marks right now why don't you turn it upside down and see if we find anything Nothing there. Now that is definitely monarch two mark damage, but sometimes they get eaten by predators, so it looks like so far we're striking out. Okay, right now I'm uh, kind of in a jungle of there's a few milkweed plants, uh, and I'm in the shade because I'm looking on plants uh, that are in the shade between the Russian olive trees. And I found this one branch here. Let me turn on the uh, macro. As you can see, we are surrounded here by a jungle of Russian olive trees. There's the entrance where I came in. There's another exit right there, but it's pretty shady in here. And there's a few uh, milkweed plants. And as I zoom down on this particular milkweed plant, on the plant, um, laid exactly where it should be. And this represents the feeding damage on the monarch, as does this. Um, there's a skeletonization of the leaf and also the larvae burrow a hole in it. Um, oftentimes when you look for monarch caterpillars, you know, the milkweed bugs always do the majority of the feeding damage and their feeding patterns are different and the milkweed bugs are generally all over the milkweed plants out in the open. But we're here in the shade and we're finding immatures of monarchs. So, okay, we're out of the forested area, but still there's a lot of trees around us. So if I pick this leaf here and if I can get it to get my macro to work. I have found a third in star monarch caterpillar. Okay, we have finally got to start over again. <laughs> After searching for little caterpillars, I told Bryce that uh, we might find a big fifth in star, and here's one that we found on this plant here. growing underneath the Russian olive trees and I'm going to have to bring the caterpillar back because nothing is in focus. Uh, anyway, the, you know, the key to finding monarch caterpillars is find the right habitat where the females roost, look on the right plant, which in this case is milkweed, taking refuge under the Russian olive trees, and if you're lucky you might find a big old fifth in star. Monarchs caterpillars can be a lot of fun to raise. Once they make a chrysalis, they'll come out in uh, about 10 days. Thanks.